Hi, I'm Mark Altman, writer and producer of Free Enterprise. And what I now hold in my hand is something coveted by a lot of fans. It's the script for Free Enterprise 2. Something that uh, a lot of people have asked Robert and myself about for many, many years and for a long time we didn't think that there really was more story to tell in the Free Enterprise saga. But we were wrong. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool what we've devised. It's, there have been many titles that we've tried, that we've, we've gone through. Everything from Raging Bill to The Passion of the Shatner to My Big Geek Wedding to Kill Bill Shatner Volume 2. But uh, right now, we don't really have a title. It's the Unentitled Free Enterprise Project uh, from Rob Burnett and myself. And uh, we're so excited uh, that uh, nearly seven years after the release of the first film, people are still clamoring to see a sequel to Free Enterprise. And we're thrilled to say that uh, Bill Shatner is among them and will be joining us, hopefully, on these great adventures uh, in Free Enterprise. Uh, it's an interesting challenge to come up with a sequel to Free Enterprise. And as I mentioned, it's something that we weren't sure we really could or would want to do. Uh, one of the challenges was finding new stories, some j way to justify uh, doing a sequel. I mean, we've seen so many comedy sequels, whether it be Analyze That or uh, films of that ilk, which, which just uh, don't, uh, aren't really warranted the whole ten yards, things like that. And, and as a result, we're really, we were anxious to find a story that not only was amusing and uh, interesting and fun, but also could provide some of the same seriousness and insight and uh, view of the genre and metaphor that um, we brought to the first film. And I think that we now have a story about friendship, uh, about um, caring, about love that uh, will do justice to the first movie because we really didn't want to ruin people's memories of the first film by making a sequel that didn't live up to it. Um, what can I tell you about this film? I can tell you that all your favorite characters will be back. Uh, Robert, Mark, Sean, um, uh, Eric, um, the many, many people that uh, uh, you enjoyed in the first movie uh, are featured in the new film. And this is a film, it's a film about people coming apart. It's about how over the course of time people are forced to confront their responsibilities. And uh, it's also about friendship. I mean, as we join the film, we see that Mark and Robert have grown apart. Um, both have uh, had to confront new responsibilities. Robert in finally coming to terms with uh, being responsible in order to finally marry Claire, hence my big geek wedding. And Mark, who has abandoned his dreams um, and is now a speechwriter for a uh, Republican senator and living with a girl that he uh, hates and, and uh, uh, beautiful but uh, somewhat empty and uncreative woman and as a result um, you know Mark is not totally fulfilled and it's only through uh, these new adventures that um, R Robert and Mark have that they're able to um, once again uh, discover that the human adventure is just beginning and uh, of course a lot has happened in the genre we've seen Star Trek wither and perhaps die? I don't think so yet. Uh, we've seen the end of the Star Wars saga. We've seen the emergence, once again, of Battlestar Galactica. These are all things that our characters will muse on in their very special way uh, throughout the film. But at the same time, uh, we'll see uh, a bachelor party. Unlike any bachelor party you've probably ever seen in a movie. We've seen Tom Hanks' bachelor party and we've seen a lot of things. But this will be a very unique bachelor party. Uh, we will see um, Las Vegas. We'll boldly go places we've never gone uh, in a Free Enterprise movie. And uh, we'll see um, a very interesting friendship between the character of Bill and someone very close to him and how it counterpoints with uh, the relationship that uh, Rob and Mark and his their interesting group of friends have. So uh, I think that Free Enterprise 2 is something, as I said, we, we, we've gone and investigated the possibility of television series. We've, talked about comic books, but once again on this uh, coming 40th anniversary of uh, the original Star Trek, uh, it's time to revisit these characters who we love uh, so much and hopefully have something new to say uh, after these seven years. Um, in the uh, last film, 
uh, Mark was celebrating his 30th birthday and uh, dealing with the angst and ennui that that brought. Uh, I will be celebrating my 40th birthday next year and uh, there's a whole new uh, group of issues uh, for us as characters and as filmmakers to wrestle with. In fact, um, <laughs> what's funny is, I mean, since the last film, uh, Rob and I have both uh, gotten married and I think we can deal with some of the issues there. Um, one of my favorite scenes in the movie is a homage, or you could say rip-off, to Diner. Uh, you may remember in that film the famous football test. And of course, it will be very interesting to see if Claire can pass the sci-fi test that the main characters put her up to before she can get married to Rob. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I'd be remiss not to mention the many, many fun things we have in store for Mr. Bill Shatner as well. Uh, Rob and I have met with Bill on a number of occasions and discussed what we all hope to achieve in a sequel. And I think that you will find if the first film was played against Sam, meets My Favorite Year, meets Swingers, that this film will be more like a uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm <laughs> meets, uh, meets, uh, meets Diner. And uh, we're really excited about the opportunity to revisit this universe and see old friends like uh, Bill and uh, our many, uh, many actors who worked on the last movie and crew who we hope to have back as we begin production on Free Enterprise 2, the untitled Mark and Rob project. Uh, it's been interesting. Uh, Rob and I have had the opportunity to work on many different projects in the last seven years. Uh, Rob is a very successful DVD producer and of course uh, I've had the opportunity to work on many different uh, genre films uh, and uh, we're both really excited to work together again and have the opportunity to make a film that's touched so many people and, and ourselves. Uh, I mean, I've said it before that uh, I've had the, you know, the so much uh, a debt of gratitude to the movie and the people that still uh, come up to us and um, tell us about how important this film was to them. And uh, of course it was so important to me, the last film that my uh, father was alive to see and enjoy and be on the set of. And of course uh, it's the film that was the catalyst for me meeting my wife. So, um, you know, she wasn't a groupie. Although she says I'm not your usual cookie fan. So uh, I'm, I'm happy and excited to jump back into this universe. I think Rob and I have both learned a little more about filmmaking in general. So uh, it definitely was a struggle to make a script that we uh, could be proud of and, 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 and want to devote the time and the effort to uh, putting on film. And now the time has come. The saga will be complete. Free Enterprise 2, coming to a theater near you soon. Can I tell you anything about the secrets of Free Enterprise 2? Hmm. Well, it's uh, supposedly quicker, easier, more seductive. Oh wait, that's the dark side of the force. Uh, no, no, I, I don't know anything other than uh, that I'm going to play Shatner and, uh, and all the other parts too.